hello guys welcome to our channel so today I'm going to take you through a tutorial where I'm going to just show you a few steps in um, drawing a beam uh, in structural detailing of a beam um, using Archicad so follow the same procedure for other versions the the versions which are ahead and even those ones which are which uh, were made earlier than 19 like cut 19 and uh, we are we are going to draw this beam this uh, this is the beam we're going to to draw and do some structural detailing structural detail contains uh, information about the the reinforcement bars which are going to be used for reinforcing the beam so we are going to use a two span beam so the first the first span is the center to center distance is 2.9 meters and the other one is 2.995 meters so let's begin so first of all we are going to draw the the construction lines just the showing the outline of the beam so i normally call them construction lines because they're the lines that you're going to begin with before we change their colors and all those uh, features that we can do in order to distinguish the various components that are present in the structural drawing so um, first of all we need to know the total distance of this beam center to center the total distance of these center to center distances so the, for the first one is 2.9 meters so it's 2.901 but i shall just use 2.9 meters and this one is 2.995 so the total distance is going to be 5.895 meters which is 5889 and 95 uh, millimeters so we shall start by drawing that so 500 and 95 like that and then I shall just uh, cop multiply this one instead of drawing another one so multiply once so while we multiply what we have to know also is the depth of the beam so for our example here the depth of the beam is uh, 400 and that's a width of 200 so the most important here is knowing the depth of the beam the width uh, will be very important when you're drawing this section so um we are going to to do the to multiply this uh, this line so we multiply it once and take it downwards and do 400 like that now we shall um, so that is a center to center di uh, distance uh, the total center to center distance but that's not the, where the beam is actually ending the beam will span up to where the 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 edge of the column will be so for our case the case the, the column which we're using which is a uh, column which you're using is uh, a 200 by 200 over here is 200 by 200 so we are going to use this, this column to, to, to draw so um, we're going to extend this distance beyond here because this uh, where the center line of the beam is so let's first show the center to center distances so 
which I'll start by this one. So these are uh, basically center lines. So these are the center lines of the columns. And uh, so the first distance was 2900. So this is another center line where another column will be. Also, and then the second distance that we're using is 29, 29 So it ends there. So this, these are center lines of columns. So this part, uh, I'm not really going to draw it in future. I'll uh, remove it because I don't want the columns to populate the drawing. So the column has a width, uh, a width of uh, of 200. So that's what we're going to show here. So we are going 100 in that direction. So go 100 in this direction, like that. So I shall copy this. I don't want to repeat this. So I'll just copy this do uh, multiply come here put here on and repeat the process and put another one here so actually this is where the beam is going to end so we shall extend this one to here and also this one to this other side So this one to to them and uh, that one over there. So um, once we have already done that, um, the next thing I want to draw is um, so the beam is over here. This other part is just for this one was for was for illustration. So the next uh, thing that we want to draw is the the bus. So knowing knowing the cover. Once you know the cover, you can easily draw them. So I, for me, I'm using a cover of 30 millimeters. So I shall just extend that beyond there. Also here, I'm going upwards 30 millimeters and extend this one to this other side. So also extend this one this way and also this one to this other side. So once I've already done that, I shall delete these two, two lines. The next thing I'm going to show will be the links. So as you know, the links are, are always, their main purpose is to, to resist uh, shear, shear forces. So, so for links, uh, the rules as to where you should start, uh, where they should start when you are doing when the beam is being uh, when the beam is being uh, placed, uh, being casted on site, uh, when the reinforcement is being placed, there are specific uh, rules where the links should start. But for me, I'm just going to use an arbitrary distance from the edge of the column. So I'll just put it to start from somewhere here. There's an arbitrary distance. So there are rules in the various uh, codes of uh, codes of engineering design. We have the the Indian design, the the one for the USA, for for which is S A S C I, and then we have uh, other codes which are there, with like the UK uh, code, the British British standards, and the Euro code. So. All those codes have their specific places where the links should start and where they should not go beyond. So for me, that's uh, I'm just going to use arbitrary distances. I'm not really going to go into that deeply. So I've already drawn the the links. So this line which I've added here is just to show the extent of the links. So we shall get into that. So the next thing I'm going to to do is to to put a text so before I do that let me first dimension this uh, let me start by dimensioning these places Sorry. Yeah. 
I want the center line. So these are the two center lines we're using. So um, so we want to put the links. So we shall put here texts, and for the text, I'm going to use a, a text height of one millimeter. So I come here and uh, so for the links, like for our example, the example which we're using here. Like for this example, so for the links, shear links, the the example which you're using here, they, they have said 15. They're using 15 links in this span. So in order to get that, you just uh, divide the total the total uh, center to center distance uh, divided by the spacing distance which they were they're using here is 200 you get 14.5 uh, and then we shall use uh, you round it off to 15 so we're using 15 d8 15 d8 um, uh, this is the bar mark and then 200 of the spacing then you say center to center, then you say links. So we shall put it here. And then the next thing that we're going to do is to, we just want the text to exist on its own in the middle. So we're going to trim this line, which is crossing the text. So we're going to remove this one. So we remove it like that. Then we also trim this one's too. So for this ones, we're going to put the arrows. I need to put the arrows. So I say 0 0.5. So that it can be small. Then put another arrow. Saying 0 0.5, and then come here and choose it. So we have used uh, 58 links, so I'll select this and copy. So we'll select the text only and copy it. Sorry about that. So I'll select this text, copy it to this side, and repeat the same procedure. So we shall first draw lines like that. That way, we select these uh, two lines so that uh, we can be able to trim what's in between. You trim that line, delete, delete those two lines, and then come into the arrows. So like this. On two, like that. So that way we will have already shown the links. So the next thing that we are going to do is to put the labels for the bars. So bar, bar labels um, to determine the number of bars that you are going to use always comes after structural design. So from structural design, you always know the number of bars that you're going to use. So for our case, which uh, so we shall just copy this text here so that we can edit later. So for our text here, we they're using 3D12, and then the bar mark is 18, and then it's bottom. It's a bottom bar, so the same bottom one. So we shall also. Do the same here. So this one is 3D12. 3D12. The bar mark is 18. The bar mark is 18. And then you say whether it's bottom one or bottom two. So bar marks will be very important when you are preparing the 
the bending shavings. So it's good to know the bar side, the bar marks, so that they can assist those who are bending bars at the site to know exactly.